as you may have noticed, I figured out how to grab the Buster Sword. Clive now looks like Cloud. <laughs> I finally got it. We, can, we finally don't have to look at that ugly ass yellow stick. But yeah, let's go talk to Jill. Jill, honey. Go. What up? It is I. Do you recognize me? Oh. It's true then. It really is you. Yes, it is. Hug her. Hug her, man. Hug her. It is. Clive. Hug her. There you go. Good boy. Good lad. You're alive. Yes, yes, we are. You know, I wonder what happened to her after Rosaria was... I still can't believe it. Blown up, I guess. I wonder what happened to her. Are your wounds healed? Oh, I think so. Yes. Ayo told me what happened. You saved my life. After we tried to end after it. After nearly taking it. Yep. <laughs> I had no idea. Good boy, Clive, being self-aware. Forgive me, but how did you ever come to be there, Jill? Oh, are we actually getting told the answer? Fighting for them. To my, to my question as to what happened to her? Were we actually getting that? The Iron Blood. They invaded not long after the news arrived. About Phoenix Gate. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Rosaria had lost her leaders. The Duchy was in chaos. The Iron Kingdom saw our weakness and pounced upon it. They killed the men. And captured the women. Standard procedure. Took you back to Iron Home. I thought they meant to have their fun with me before the end. Oh, Jesus, I hope but not. The end never came. My powers awoke and everything changed. Oh, okay. It all happened so fast. We were told that the Iron Blood had captured a dominant and planned to bring her on their latest crusade. They gave me a choice. To fight for them on the battlefield or... To see my countrywomen slaughtered. Oh, so it was a feminist move. And they call us dominant. Us? What? <laughs> What do you mean, us? What happened, Clive? What happened at Phoenix Gate? Well, a lot of things- a lot of screaming, a lot of things got set on fire. It was me. I killed Joshua. Baby boo. No. That's not true. I know you, you wouldn't do that. Not consciously, not willingly. It's the truth. I changed into him again, not long ago. The second icon of fire. The one responsible. <laughs> Clive. He needs a hug. Someone hug him. When I think back to that night. Potato sack! Hooded man. I think that potato sack is different than the one that we've been me. seeing. That's different from Margrace. I don't think that's Margrace, because that's like not. What did he say? That's like the future, isn't he? Sorcy. Yep, that's that's the creepy force man. We have found you. What the fuck is that? What's a we? What did he mean? Clive. We should go back there. To Phoenix Gate. Why? I need to know what really happened. And so do you. You need to I, know for certain. I mean, I and guess so, but he kind of knows that already. And you did what you said you did? That you need to punch yourself in the face? Then we will face it together. Jill, I... I guess we're going home? Question mark? Is that what's happening? All right. 
You'll be needing a change of clothes then. Oh, clothes? Out you go, your lordship. Oh, it's not for us. We wouldn't want you getting overexcited. Yes, you can't see the girl naked. That's against the Sorry. rules. Even though we've been seeing so many <laughs> nakedness. We saw him naked. We saw King naked. We saw Garuda naked. <laughs> oh, side quests. Okay. How do I get down this way? Alrighty. There's no. There's more crafty shit. There's more. Um. There's more stuff. Okay, so we gotta talk to her. Who's got the side quest? That way. Excuse me. You got a quest for me? I'll take it. Excuse me, chickens. Hi, sir. You, newcomer. I need help. That's why I'm here. What's the matter? It's my assistant. She left to gather soil, and I've seen nothing of her since. Okay. I cannot concentrate one whit for fear of what might have happened. Please, I beg of you. Will you go and check? I have to know. I have to know. Did she get eaten by a plant? Sure. All right, I'll go. Marvelous. Thank you. You'll be rewarded for your time, of course. Of course, naturally. Where is she? Gotan's Bales. It's on the outskirts of Lostwin. Not the safest place for an unaccompanied bearer, perhaps, but the soil there is second to none. So she went out to go collect dirt. Do not linger. Why? It may already be too late. So she could be already dead, eaten by a cow plant. Because, you know, this is totally The Sims. I wouldn't be surprised if cow plants, or something like a cow plant, exists in the world of Final Fantasy. I would not be surprised. Um. Um. Let's, let's just go, let's go straight and do the, do the side quest. Let's just go do it. Moving heaven and earth. A place for everyone. Wait, there's another side quest here? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay. It's in the fat chocobo. In here. Excuse me, moogs. What's up, dude? Ah, Clive. I trust you're settling in? I guess I so. Used to the place. I'm glad to hear it. I was hoping you might be persuaded to come to my aid once more. Sure. Your will be rewarded, of course. What do you want? Doubt it. Seems to be the way around here. We strive to be better than those we once served. Now, as to the task itself, I am once again in need of a pair of hands to deliver sustenance to our esteemed companions. Okay. I have three meals for three industrious souls. What say you? All right, back to waiting. We're waiters now. They better tip me. Marvelous. Or they won't get their food. <laughs> Three individuals you'll be seeking out are busying themselves about the hideaway. Okay. You'll find one by the entrance, another in the bunks, and the other guarding the cells. Thank you once again. We have cells here? I mean, I guess we... I say that as we were just in one. But I mean, like, are they, like, proper, proper cells? Or are they, like, the ones that I was in? Where it's just a box. Um, mm -hmm. Just don't have enough. This way. <laughs> Isn't the Moogle funny? No, Moogles are not funny. Those things are terrible. Mm. Up here? No, below me. Okay. Clive, you can run faster. I know you can. Well, there's one in here. Oh, this is this is the man who watched me get naked. No, no, do not. <laughs> no. He thought you might be hungry. Here you go. Take this as a sign of my apologies for seeing my naked butt. He wasn't wrong. Way my guts been growling, I'd have curls running scared. <laughs> Guard duty down here can't be much fun. 
It's not. Is guard duty Sometimes ever fun? Folk need locking up, and someone has to watch over them. I help people sleep at night, and that's not a boast many can make. You keep yourself on the right side of these bars now, you hear me? So this is prison. Okay. I was naked in prison. Hello, Chocos. Ma'am. Got food for you. Ooh, something smells good. For me, I hope. Yes. It is. Courtesy of Kenneth. Here you go. Don't let the Chocos eat it. These giant burbs. Oh, my thanks. These birds are needy creatures. They don't like me running after the fat chocobo behind their backs. <laughs> no, because they, they are your fat chocobos. They must keep you busy. Ah, there's never a moment's rest. Probably for the best I eat down here, reeking of the staples as I do. I'd only put people off their food. And who has time to wash and dress for dinner when they've got little darlings like these to wait upon, eh? Anyway, thanks for the food, and be sure to give Kenneth my regards. Okay. I wonder when we get our chocobo back. Like, I know Clive gets his chocobo at some point, I just don't know when. There's this last man that I need to give to. Nope. Um, <laughs> not up the stairs. In here! Oh, what I wouldn't give for some wild Mickey berries. Hi, sir. You want food? Here you go. Can I help you? Kenneth sent me. Eat. Eat so that I may be paid. Ah, wonderful. Do you hear that? Our food has arrived. Does your appetite still elude you? Is he sick? <sighs> I'm afraid so. I was no longer in need of a oh, physical. Apparently Hogwarts legacy got installed. Here for further rest. I, I don't know why. <laughs> it's been installed. Which leaves me very little time for anything else. Happily, Kenneth sees that I stay fed. I would be lost without the kindness of good people like him and yourself. Thank you. I think that's everyone. I better let Kenneth know. Alright, time to go get paid! Uh, and then we gotta go find some lady in a field. And then it's off to go with Jill! Ah, you're back. All done? Wonderful. Yes, I'm done. Yeah. Can I get your my reward, money now? As promised. The hideaway is quite something. Everyone has their place. A fact we are proud of, believe me. I'm glad you've witnessed it for yourself. You You're welcome, no question too, mark. Course, as you have just so capably proven, and you will always have a place with us, should you desire it. It's kind of you to say so. It is the truth, and not a soul among us would deny it. I look forward to all that you will bring to our little community. Hopefully it's not more naked ass. I think we traumatized these people enough with our naked butt. Okay. That done. Let us go to here. And do that side quest. Side questing in 16, I've been told, is something that you should do. If you want the full experience of the game, you should go do the, do the side quests. I guess it adds to the... Oh. Someone's in trouble. Adds to the screaming, I guess. <laughs> this lady was like, no, don't do the side quests. Oh, ew. Quick, get him off the screen. I don't want to look at him. When did Torgo come with us? Oh, 
I guess Torgo just comes with us everywhere. That's fine by me. I mean, the puppy. The puppy comes with us everywhere. I would love to take my dogs with me everywhere I went. But alas, I cannot. Slap! Enemy slain. For once, I am not. Ha I am happy that I couldn't see a damn thing. Uh, arachnophobia is horrible. Are you hurt? It would have been worse if you hadn't come along. Wait, I I've seen you around the hideaway. You're new, aren't you? Yes, yes, I'm I am. Clive. Oh, I'm Clive. And I'm Martel. But what are you doing here? Um, looking for you. Yeah, <laughs> looking for you. This is no place for a bearer on her own. I noticed that. But this soil's not going to collect itself. Then what if I gathered it for you? You could head back to the hideaway. Just exactly what sort of dirt is it that you need? <laughs> what I need is soil. What kind of dirt? I'd be a fool to refuse your help after what just happened. It's, it's the good soil. It's soil. It's just dirt. Dark, rich, fragrant. You'll know it when you find it. Dark, rich, and fragrant. Dark, are we looking for poop? Rich and fragrant. He's like, are you sure we're looking for dirt and not well, poop? You should hurry back. Bohemil seemed worried enough that he might come looking for you himself. That seems unlikely, but I won't argue with you. Thanks. Off you go, little lady. While I go gathered your fragranted dirt. <laughs> Soil, then. There's certainly enough of it here. But is it dark, rich, and fragrant? I don't know, Clive, is it? Just pick it up with my hands. Okay. Oh, there's one more. Where? Where does it elude me? Should be like around here, right? There it is. No, stop it. That should be enough. I better get it back to the hideaway. We got four fistfuls of dirt that smell. <laughs> he found four fistfuls of poop. It's just like Torgal here, take a shit here. <laughs> Torgle, shit. Excuse me, sir. I don't know if this is um dirt or not, but here you go. There you are. And all safe and sound. Yes. She's right there. Oh. Yes, yeah, she's standing right there. <laughs> not the girl. The soil. Did you Oh! Know? You piece of shit! Yes. Clive, yeah. punch him! Here, here's your poop. My dog shat on it. Glorious! When Martel came home empty handed, I almost had a fit. But I'm about this, to have one right now. With this, my research can continue. First and foremost come the measurements. I must know how much ether each sample contains. From there. Wait, so you were never. Worried about me? Sorry to disappoint you, but the only thing he worries about is his research. What a prick! That's all right. It's just how he is. And if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be growing anything in these ruins. It's a small price to pay. Although you still to pay it too. Did he even offer you anything for helping? Ugh. Here. I know it's not much, but it's something at least. What an arrogant prick! I want to punch him now. I wish I could offer you some fruit, too, but you're not likely to thank me if I do. Still, we'll grow something worth eating one of these days, and when we do, you'll have first pick. Thank you. Yummy fruit. And that's all of our side quests. Hopefully I don't have to talk to that man ever again. I hope he dies. 
Madame? Madame, I'm going home. I need a map. What do you want? Clothes. Well, we're leaving. Oh. Good decision. Better that than buried out there in the black. You've got a lot to thank that girl for, you know. I do. I know. And I will. Now, what do you really want? I. Both know you I want. Money for I want money, please. <laughs> Make me rich! I have Let's nothing for then. you, or you have nothing to give me, and I got nothing Best for you, lady. Look. I should probably say thank you to Gav, too. Puppy, he's a sleepy baby. Gav! I'm leaving with my girlfriend. Let's go. So your mind's made up, is it? Yes, I'm putting a whore before a brother. As as we're able. Back down memory lane, eh? Yeah, eh? You Canadian? I thought we were all British. Be, Clive, and not since the Imperials moved in. First sign of trouble, you make straight for Martha's rest and ask for the landlady. Okay. She's a friend of the cause. Tell her you was Sid, and she'll help you out. Understood. Oh, free room and board, huh? Okay. Thank you, Gav. Yeah. I'd be lost without you. Yeah, you can... <laughs> He's like, don't hug me, bro. No homo. <laughs> Life's just like, all right, dude, I gotta be, I gotta be supportive. I gotta be, I'll be thankful. And Gav's just like, what the fuck, dude? Get off me. Don't touch me. Oh, I'm crap at goodbyes. Where's Sid when you need him? I don't when know. He's probably when he gets off back. sniffing some ink. I will. My lady. Sorry to keep you waiting. Ready, my lady. <laughs> Ready. Alrighty. To three reads we go! Ow! My back. I really need to get a better chair to, to sit in when I'm on my, my desk. But that's expensive. Rosaria. It's been 13 years. Has it really been that long? The smell of the grass. It's just as I remember it. Does grass smell different depending on where you're from? I couldn't. Bran did keep a close watch on each other in the Imperial Army. You get beheaded just for knowing a deserter. The only way out was on a mission. Hmm. I see. Sounds like Job Corps. I was afraid. Big muscle man scared? Afraid to go back. I know. But I'm here now. He was like, I'm terrified to come back here, but here we are! Onward to adventure! My thanks to her. I mean, it's not like she grabbed you by the balls and dragged you here. Although that might be a, be what's needed. We should press on. Homecoming. That's in at the top of the hill must be Martha's rest. Gav said the landlady's a friend. But can we say the same for her patrons? Does it really matter? Girls don't tend to take well to those with my mark. If anyone asks, I'm a branded soldier, sworn to protect my noble mistress. 
Oh, that works. It's like, I'm protecting a princess. This princess. This is my princess. No one, no, you cannot touch her. This is my princess and this is my dog. Oh, a side quest? Already? They never finished building the bridge then. After what happened at Phoenix Gate, it didn't seem the highest priority. Didn't finish building the bridge? We're on a bridge! What are you talking about? What bridge? We're on the bridge. And this bridge. Oh, that bridge. Where the fuck was that supposed to go? Chocos! Excuse me, sir. Do you need help? Stop and give me an eye. Here, you couldn't give me an iron, could you? Typical. A bloody bearer. And just when I thought my luck had changed. What do you want? Still, better a crumb of crystal than an empty hand, I suppose. Though it pains me to use another man's branded. Here, you understand me, don't you? I need your help. These blasted birds must have caught a whiff of my cargo, and now they've got me surrounded. You know, it's running late as it was. And I'm not an alien, dude. I got before the rest. If I dare not leave my cart untended, you couldn't run it up to Martha's rest for me, could you? Needs to get there a quick mind. Okay. Fine. That's the spirit. All right. Here. You hand that to the stable master and no one else. I'm owed a little something for it. If he gives it to you, pass it along to your master by way of thanks. Okay. Be off with you then. And don't go taking any detours on the way. We will be taking lots of detours. Because this game is so goddamn pretty. I mean, look at it. Look at all this. It's gorgeous. I get distracted just by how pretty he is, and I have nothing to say other than it's gorgeous. No one wants to hear me say that a million times. We do zoom zooms! Yum, 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 yum. Here we are. Martha's rest. So pretty. That's one of our branded. Do we take him in? He's not one of ours. Look, he's with his master. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Is that one of ours? Nah. Are you the stable master? I was asked to deliver this to you. Here you go. This is for me, right enough. Not sure what some bearer is doing bringing it to me, though. Or has that fool of a peddler got to? He's having he some technical difficulties. Himself. His cart's surrounded by wild chocobos. Hmm. Sounds about right. He'll have it full of Gizal greens, no doubt. Crammed with him, if I know him. Is that, like, greens. is that like weed? Chocobos go mad for them, don't they? Oh, it's a catnip. And if you forget to seal the cart up tight, the smell gets out. And birds come running from miles. I know that's what they what they're used for in uh, in fourteen. I don't merchant, know if it's like especially around these parts. Like, 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 I don't know if it's drugs for people or if it's just catnip. Friend is learning the hard way. Still, I got my wares, and that's all that matters. Be sure to pass your master my regards. Okay, Jelly says thanks. Thank you. Okay. Good girl. This way. You get some rest, Mel. Yes, you be nice to the chocos. The chocos are awesome. Any more oh, side quests around here? Let's go and find out, shall we? I'm not seeing any. Wait, Aetherite! Touch it! Beep. <laughs> uh, 
I guess it activated on its own. In we go. Ma'am, are you Martha? Yes. Oh, she's pretty. Go on, Jill. You talk. Excuse me. Would you happen to be the landlady? Depends who's asking. And why they have an imperial bearer with them. For protection. Which hopefully won't be needed. If you can advise me on the safest route to the west. It's your friend here I'd be worried about. Bearers don't have an easy time of it in Rose area. Even a strapping lad like him might attract the wrong kind of attention. And if he gets nabbed, it ain't likely to end well for you either. They can try. Have to stay out of the malicious way. Gav said you might be able to help us. <laughs> the bloody hell, it's Gav. You're here to pay his tab. <laughs> Sorry to before. Can't be too wary of strangers asking questions in our game. I'm Martha, an old friend at Sid's. Friend? I had high hopes for a bearer who joined recently. What kind of I friend? You. So, where is it you're headed? The Phoenix Gate. We have questions that need answering. Is that so? You'd think ro the natives of Rosaria yeah, would recognize garrison, would recognize Clive. I mean, yeah, sure, yeah, he's all grown up, but he's got the he's got the the crest on him. He's got his earring still. With the village for weeks, I did ask our carpenter to take a look at it, but he went out on another job, and he hasn't come back. Do you think something might have happened to him? Fingers Maybe crossed he's just taking his time. The alternative didn't bear thinking about. We'll find him. He's probably sure getting fluffed up by chocos. You don't mess we with the chocos. Prepared. Your carpenter sounds like the man to do it. I see why Sid's Or you can call me. For you. you know, I'm I'm a carpenter in fourteen. I'm really good at it, kind of. Well, I'm more of an alchemist, really, but Is whatever. I'm almost an omni crafter. The marshes to check on another bridge, the one by the fallen gate. The marshes were dangerous at the best of times. We should hurry. There's a ladder to the side of the gate. That's the quickest way down if you've a head for heights. Or would you know just jump down? Should you find him well, tell him Martha sent you, and that he's wanted at the bridge to Eastpool. All right, let's go find him. Beat him up for not doing his job. To the marshes, then. Let's find that ladder. Good, honest work building the aqueduct. Come on, Dorgal. Let's go, puppy. All right, where are we going? This way. Um, <laughs> Very good to East Pool. Here's the gate. And that must be the ladder. Off, down we go. Wee. Can we watch Jill do it? I guess not. Torgo teleported down here. Where's Jill? Up oh, there she is. No peep it up skirts today. They just teleport down. I don't care what your orders are, Brandon. Get away from me! Oh. What was that? There he is. Come on. Woo! There's no fall damage. There he is. Slap it! Slap it, slap it, slap it. Enemy slain. Experience 16. Are you the carpenter? Thank you, my lady. You saved my life. Not at all. You're Bernard the carpenter, yes? I am. 
I, I didn't realize my name was known so widely. No, we were hired to find you. She asked us to come and find you. Well, I'm very grateful for it. I just finished checking these piles when I turn around, I see a gang of slavering monsters looking to, to feast on my flesh. If you hadn't come when you did, I'd have been snipped into strips by now. Mm, just chicken strips. I, I best go and give my regards to the landlady then, hey? Yes, yes you do. Actually, she asked that if we found you, we should beg you make haste to repair the bridge to Eastpool. And then go say thank you. Of course. You. I, I said I'd take a look at it, but I had a clean slip my mind. I'll head up there straight away. Ah, the trusses are still sturdy. It's just a matter of replacing the stringers and relining the deck. I'll have it done in no time. I have no idea what he just said. We were hoping to take the road to Eastpool ourselves. We're very grateful for your help. And sorry for asking this of you after what you've been through. I owe you my life. Fixing a bridge is the least I can do. Indeed it Thank is. You, my lady. And you too, son. You're with Sid, ain't ya? Me and him we go way back. Not as far as Martha mine, but far enough. Clive has such a sassy pose. Well, I best get cracking then. You go He's like, like I am line. this brittle, bridge back brooding, city. grizzled man, oh. but let me just put my hand on my hip, pop it out, like some sassy gay model. Pardon me. The bridge will be fixed when it's fixed, all right? We were supposed to be in East Pool yesterday. I hear the levees are due to go up again. Do you like that? I don't know where that came from. Excuse me, what are you doing? Oh, he's talking to a chocobo. <laughs> okay. Martha, we're done. Ah, you're back. What happened? Did you find Bernard? We did. We did. He's fine, and he'll have the bridge to Eastpool repaired soon. Oh, well, thank the founder for that. It was lucky we found him when we did. The creatures out there are not to be trifled with. It's the Blight's fault. They've nothing to eat in the north, so they come down here hunting for food. Oh, he can't keep going out alone. I'll have to arrange a guard for him. But anyway, thank you. You're welcome. I don't have a lot to offer in return. But you're welcome to rest here until the repairs are finished. Okay. We'd be delighted. So how long are we here for? Can I get you a drink or anything while you wait? Flagon of Imperial Gold, perhaps? Tastes like swill, but it'll slake a thirst. Sure. No, thank oh. you. Fine, be that way. I prefer the truth. About why there are so few bearers around here. Yes. There were more of them when we were young. Far more. Is this the Empire's doing? Have they been sent away? Probably. to the legions or Auriflam. Seems the miners at Drake's Head are having a hard time keeping up with demand of late. So the bearers make up the shortfall. Oh. The time was they used to dole out crystals like sugar plums even down here in the provinces, but not anymore. Nowadays, they'll jump at any excuse to confiscate our bearers so they can be put to work elsewhere. I always knew the Empire treated their branded like shit, but after seeing it with my own eyes... <sighs> ah, dear! Congratulations on the new arrival. And you got the little laddie with you? It was a bearer. The boy I carried for nine long moons. A bloody bearer. Oh, you poor thing. You gave it to the constables then. Just left it at the garrison. I let them deal with it. Can I punch I these ladies? The thing. Been wanting it gone since the moment I found out. Well, it's all dealt with now. So no harm. Excuse me, ma'am. That was your kid. Mum, 
He weren't my brother, was he? Yes, yes, he was. No. But you'll have one soon enough. You just have to be patient. All right? All right. Oh, my God. Unbelievable, isn't it? Bearers may have been looked down on back in Archduke Elwyn's day, but they were still human beings. Now they've fallen so far, a beggar wouldn't spit on them. This is when you turn around and you start announcing, like, I am the Archduke's son, you pieces of fucking shit! And take back to the Abbey. There's a darkness, the heart of this world. And I'd have you see it. Trust me, he has seen it. He has seen all of it. And we'll see it at an Abbey. Glademond Abbey, on the shore of Sorrowise Bay. The abbot there is a friend. Tell him Martha sent you. And he'll show you what I mean. Oh, boy. Understood. Off we go. Alright. In this way. Make sure you're aiming that at the fish there, son. Fresh cut! Fresh cut! Fresh cut! Fresh cut! Get your fresh cut here! Okay. Pull the lever! That was the correct lever! I knew that children were tested, that the bearer's fate was decided at birth. And assumed it was best for all concern. I know. But for a child to be blamed, to be hated by its parents through no fault of its own. We knew nothing of what it meant to be born that way, did we? That's oh, just fucking horrible. What's that? A blue choco. That's a blue choco. What? What are you called? That thing's called Bluebird. What are you called? Oh shit! <laughs> it didn't like that. It didn't like it. This one's colored. We're gonna kill the colored one. The colored chocobos are usually the ones that got like weird powers to them. Not usually something you want to leave alone when it's when you're fighting them. Company. I just wanted this. I'm not here to murder the, the wildlife or make racial slurs at chocobos. Excuse me! It's clotting some money. Nope. Well, I guess we're fighting. You know what to do. Now, we need to go this way. Clive, can you seriously- oh my god, he can't go in the water. We should be able to go there from here, right? No, no we cannot, okay. We need a pet Torgal. You like that, don't you? We had to pet the puppy. We had a moral obligation to pet the puppy. Well, I get us lost. <laughs> we 
gotta go that way, but we can't cross this little pond, apparently. Clive doesn't want to get his toesies wet. These are his good boots. Company. God damn it. I could just keep running, but I, mean, I might as well fight him. Grab this. There's the Abbey. What darkness awaits us within, I wonder. Ew, spiders. Let's go and see. Oh, I can hear them. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay, here we go. Here's the church. Excuse me, I have a, a bag to give you. I think it's got a head in it. Good day to you. Hello, I'm old man. The Abbey is not open for public prayer. May Gregor go with you. Who's Gregor? We came to offer a donation from Martha. There you go, here's some fingers. I see. Then please follow me. Look, I gave you the fingers, you can't have mine. Oh. Please, father. Something for the pain. Thank you. Something for the pain. How I snap your neck? I don't want to die alone. Why would you be? Di Why are they dying? It's all right. I'm here. Who are these people? Martha's bearers. She entrusted them to my care, that I might ease their suffering. Oh, what to suffering? To the extent that I can, for the time they have left. Bro, your hands are rock! Oh my god, why are they turning to stone? Is there a Medu is Medusa a thing here? The curse has taken them. All of them. What what curse? As it does every bearer forced to use their gift. With each draw on the ether, their bodies petrify, till all that remains is stone and pain, and so they are cast aside. Oh there is nothing either Martha or I can do to change that. But we can at least strive to make their final hours a little more bearable. <laughs> Wait, so does that happen to the dominance too? Have faith, my son, for you shall rise again and find the happiness denied you in this life. There's something in my balls. I think a mouse made it made its rest there. I shouldn't be making jokes right now. Someone just died. I must offer you my own thanks for the medicine you so kindly brought. Ah, uh, their final moments may be moments of peace. We're gonna put poison in them. It's gonna make them sleepy. I'm 
So should we be using our magic all willy nilly? Martha, pray tell her that two more have succumbed. Um, or maybe the dominants are like immune because they are like actual gods. We should get back to Martha's rest. Yes, we should. Can I just teleport there? I can. <laughs> but yeah, maybe the dominants are special and they don't need that. They, they don't aren't. Maybe they're not affected by the curse. Because their powers comes from like comes from a from literal gods that chose them. Otherwise, you would think that they would be a little bit more cautious about the the dominance using their magic so much. It was good, honest work building up. What's that? Oh. You're back. Thanks for taking care of that. You're welcome, madam. I had a message for you. Two more have succumbed. I see. Come upstairs. So now you know, eh? I've seen Indeed. plenty of bearers die on the battlefield, but never like that. And all because they were born different. The powers that be can't take away their gift, so they strip them of their humanity instead. Oh, there's plenty who pity a bearer's plight. But so long as we're content to sit around, weeping for those on whose broken backs we're carried, we ain't gonna change nothing. Damn, Martha. You lend Sid your strength. What little of it I have. Use profits from this place to buy the poor buggers. So when the abbot told us the bearers were yours. Aye, they're my property. At least by law. Any still fit to work fetch a price beyond my means. All I can do is care for those who have passed mend and. Oh, so she buys the, the ones that are about to die. Bernard's finished fixing that bridge for you. You can carry on to Eastpool now. You got All right, questions then. that need answering, ain't you? Well, I wish you luck. Thank you, Martha. Oh, I almost forgot. Sid and I have other friends in Rosaria. Wear this and they'll know you for one of us. There you go, just smack that on your boob there. And know that you will always be welcome here. You were right, Sid. It really is them. Lord Rosfield and Lady Warwick have come back to us. Oh, so she knows who we are! And long may they stay. So maybe they do know who, who Clive is. Or, I don't know about Jill. They knew- they, they all know who Clive is. Bow to me, peasants. Sid, what are you doing here? Sid. Oh, Clive. What? His- oh, his arm, it's pasty! How did it die? With a thousand little lightning bolts. Can't fling them around the way I used to. So the dominants aren't immune to it. Think of it as my decoration for long service and exemplary misconduct. But you didn't come here to compare war wounds. We did. No, we did not. Thank you, Sid. For everything. But why are you here, Sid? 
you want to leave, that's your lookout. I'm sure you'll have a long and happy life together if you stay out of my way. Fid! <laughs> oh. <sighs> I knew a girl back in the day. Oh. She was a slave to her fate, just like you. Sid, are you a player? How much of the game have you played? To save her. For a while, I even thought I could. But just because you think something doesn't make it true. You talking about Benedicta? Sid. I'm no savior. Just a conceited old fool. I talk about people forging their own futures. But instead of handing them the hammer, I beat them with my own. And if no bugger wants to listen to what you've got to say, you might as well keep your gob shut. Aw, oh, see, that's no way to do it. Right. I will say this. You're not a monster. You're the same man you've always been. Accept that, and you may yet escape your fate. My fate? Look, lad, you've had a hard life. And I don't see it getting much easier. Does life ever actually get easier? We're told that it does, but it never really does. To save anyone else. But at the very least, you can save yourself. <laughs> Try. And Jill. I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to talk, but I trust you'll take good care of the boy. Yes, I will. Yes, take very good care of him. Aye. We'd best head back then. Wouldn't want to keep Nan waiting. And onward we go. We're still holding on. New quests available nearby. <gasps> We've got one, two, how many are here? Just two? Just, just, the, just those? Oh, there's one right here. Before we reach our destination. Let's go ahead and let's pick up these side quests. I have to find him. What up, man? Can't talk now, I... Oh, you're Clive, aren't you? Yes, I am your lord. About you. Oh. Word is, you're a devil with that blade. You look like you're in a hurry. Where are you going? Not far, I hope. But I dare not waste a moment. It might cost a man his life. Oh, yeah? So serious. What happened? Not so much what happened as what might. They've discovered he's a bearer, see? And now, one of his erstwhile friends and neighbors wants to see him clapped in chains. Uh, of course. Where is this bearer? He wasn't fool enough to wait for the Imperials to arrive. Poor sod took to the road, left his whole life behind. But they'll be after him before long. I need to find him and get him to safety, fast. Here. If you've the time and the inclination, I could do with a hand. Will you help me find him? Sure. Of course. We bearers have to look out for each other. Thank you, Clive. With your help, we might catch up with him yet. His name's Norris. We need to find Chuck him Norris? To Martha before the Imperials sniff him out. You found him yet? You won't catch a bastard standing around clucking like old ends. That fucking snake played me false. Acted like he was one of us, and the old time he was one of them. We need him caught and handed over to the Imperials. Hanging's too good for him. Well, go on then. If he gets away, I'll see you fitted for a noose. All right, Ronald. 
We were just leaving. Look, this one's here to help. I was just filling him in. Ha! Send a bearer to catch a bearer, is it? Not bloody likely. That's it. I'll find the bastard myself. Come Can on, I kill him? On. It's dangerous out there. We wouldn't want you to come to any harm. Can I kill him? Well, done right. You don't send a bearer. Clive, this might take a while. You start hunting our man, and I'll be along once I put Ronald's mind at ease. Someone said they saw Norris heading for the Fallen Gate. Maybe you could ask if anyone over that way knows anything. We have to find him. Don't let him slip through our grasp. Aye, aye, Mood Capitan. I'd better find this Norris before Ronald takes matters into his own hands. There is a hardly difficult to spot. What do you mean about being played false, I wonder? He probably doesn't have the mark on his face. Fear, we'll talk to this dude. Pharaoh who works for Martha, aren't you? Can you give me a hand? Sure, what do you want? Look, I dropped my crystal off a cliff into the bloody swamp like an utter fool. Oh. Now, I've not got your knack, see? And I need that shard to chill my fish if I'm to take him to market. But it's just a short climb down. I'll make it worth your while. Okay. I can't promise anything. Well, just promise you'll look. Ah, there may be one thing I failed to mention about the crystal. A creature might have already claimed it. Ah, oh, that's why you won't go down. All right, eaten it, but, but, but only might have, you understand. There were a lot of bog crabs down there. Nasty buggers, them. <sighs> Sounds like I need to break a few shells. Oh, don't worry. There, there, there weren't too many of them. A veritable walk in the marsh, as they say. The ladders right over there. <sighs> okay. Go get this dude's crystal. We got it. All right, back up we go. Or not? I got. Oh, mm -hmm. We've slayed the ball crab. Is there more? Is it this? Nope. Okay. Oh, there it is. There's one we missed. This must be it. No point spending any more time down here than I have to. A man after my own heart. No point wasting time. Off we go, Clivey. Uh, yeah, you're supposed to jump, my good sir. Jump up. This foul crystal, so I guess it's tainted. Might want to get a new one. You found it! Oh, thank you! We 
least this guy said thank you. Any longer out in the sun, and my catch would have made for poor eating indeed. Be more careful next time. Oh, I will, I promise. No point casting my nets of a morning if I'm without a crystal to see the catch to town. There was a time honest taxpaying folk could get new ones whenever they wanted. Can't now, though, not for love nor money. Crystals are scarce, and the Empire tightens its purse strings more every day. Lose this little beauty again, and I might as well scrap my nets and take to begging. Okay, that's one. That's one down. On to the next. You don't know a man called Norris, do you? I do, as it happens. He ran off that way not too long back. Looked like he was in a right hurry. And he had a lantern with him for some reason. Never known him to sail out after dark. He was making for the marshes then. All right. Thank you. All right. We found our quarry, or at least we know the, the direction he's going in. You barely have to step out your front door. That's one of our branded. Do we take him in? He can't have gone far. I better keep my eyes peeled. Okay. Sir, where are you? Sir! Oh. A lantern. The one Norris was carrying, no doubt. At least I know which way he went. He's in the house. Go. Someone made sure work of them. I wonder if that someone was Norris. Probably. I mean, if you can fight, then you should. Hello, sir. <laughs> Oi. Norris, I presume. Leave me be. Never branded. So that's how you stayed hidden. Ronald sent you after me, did he? Set an imperial dog on his best friend. And when we were so close, I'll never forget the hatred in his eyes. But it doesn't matter now. I will not become a slave. As Good on you, man. To another, please. Don't do this. You know how they treat our kind. Ronald didn't send me. One of Martha's men did. He wanted to make sure you were safe. I don't understand. Martha takes in Paris. She's a friend. You can trust her. Believe me. I never knew. I can't say I'm surprised, though. She has a kind heart. Kinder than most. Just wait here and stay out of sight. You'll be among friends soon enough. Thank you. There's few would have been so kind. Try not to and fry any more crabs. Sorry. People might ask questions. Dog. Far from it. I've been called worse. Oh, I found a lantern back there. I assume it's yours. Thanks. I dropped it when those creatures attacked me. But if I'm honest, I wasn't all that sorry to be rid of it. Ron gave it to me. All right. Oh. I'll keep hold of it. I might be able to use it to put an end to the Imperial Surge before it begins. Oh, we're gonna go and tell them, like, hey, yo, this dude's dead. free for so many years. I need to be betrayed by a friend. It shocks. It shocks. No, wrong button. This button. We need to go here. We need to go here. And talk to this dude. Excuse me! Oh, we fucked it up. I'm afraid he has died, wink wink. There you are, Clive. How goes the search? Well branded. Have you found the bastard yet? Only what was left of him. A corpse. 
torn apart by monsters. And this. Let me see that. No. It can't be. Shall we consider that the end of the matter, then? Or do you need to see a body? No, no. I, I mean, I've no use for bearer bones. He's dead. Let that be an end to it. I only wish those whose job it was had done what they were supposed to do and spotted him sooner. Letting a bearer go about without a brand? It's not right, I tell you. Who want anything to do with me now, eh? There goes the bearer lover, they'll say. I'll be a laughing stock. Is it true, Clive? Is Norris really... No. He's alive. You'll find him in a hut in the marshes. He's expecting you. We lied. Oh, you crafty. Still, you did the right thing. Thank you. It's not much considering, but please, take this. Okay, I think there's one more side quest to do, but it's like on the way to, to Easter to East Pool, Easter Pool, East Pool. We'll go on the East, the kitties. So much for all parts of the Empire uh, nope. <gasps> Box. Kick. This way, this way, here we go. Jumpy. Jumpy. Thank you, sir. I'll be on my way now. Martha said the blight had spread even further south, pushing yet more monsters down with it. I dare say we'll be seeing a few along the way. Probably. To keep our wits about us. We got some killer bees. I saw some dogs. Ah, spiders! I leveled up! When I level 20. Or they did. They did. Okay. And there's that last side quest. Excuse me, I'll use that blade of yours. What's wrong with yours? Curse my luck. I branded. No time to haggle with whoever holds your leash. Wait. That's the slumbering chocobo you're wearing. You in the Marfords, are you? Yep. Good. She won't begrudge me the use of you then. But while there's wolves about, we tried dealing with them ourselves. Made out bait, think we might swoop in and slaughter a lot. But we didn't expect the pack to be quite so bloody big. I expect the blight drove them here. They must have fled their homes for greener pastures. We don't empty bellies might make them easy prey. They made them mean instead. As Martha usually, it, that's how it happens when an animal is hungry, they get mean. Do us a favor and get rid of them, will you? Okay. All right. I suppose those wolves pose a threat to everyone. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. I'd wager the greedy bastards are still over yonder, finishing off our bait. Oka? When you've seen to every last one of them, go and speak to my friend over the bridge. Bryce, his name is. He want to know if he's safe to come across. Okay. Right. Off you go, then. Kill the wolves, talk to a dude named Bryce. Gotcha. Okay, let's go. I'm sorry, babies, but I must do this. The game said so. Wait. That almost didn't register in my brain. Bryce, 
Let him know the road's safe. He's probably up there. Yep, up there. Run faster, Clive! Hello! Wonder how long that bait will are you, Bryce? What's it to you, bearer? Your friend asked me to get rid of the wolves. So I got rid of the wolves. You'd have me believe a single bearer slew the entire pack. Yep, because I got my own doggy. You wouldn't be on this side of the bridge. Bugger me, you're a tough one, aren't you? <laughs> oh, Frederick. You oily bastard. I never thought to pit beast against beast like that. You served us well, bearer. Be sure to pass our thanks, Jim. Okay, Jill, he said thank you. All right, onward. Look, the windmills. That must be Eastfall. Chiny. Wink. I remember coming here with Lord Murdoch when I was young. This area seemed a very different place back then. Zoom. A little too yeah. quiet. Come, my baby puppy. You're Clive Rossfield. Uh, no. Who wants to know? It's me, Hannah, Rodney Murdoch's wife. Oh, Lady Hannah. Yes, hug the boy. Oh, I knew it was you. You haven't changed at all. Are you sure about he doesn't have his mohawk anymore? And Jill too. It's so good to see you both again. <gasps> it's good to see you too, Lady Hannah. <gasps> Is no one going to recognize the puppy? If you have time, you simply must come back to the house. I haven't much to offer, but what is mine is yours. Okay. I'll take a hot meal, please. Be delighted. I'm actually kind of hungry. I would like some tacos. But that would require me to defrost meat. And I don't really want to do that. It takes too long. And you have been wandering the world ever since. Yep. I'm assuming so. Understand fleeing from those iron blood brutes, but oh, to take to the road at such a tender age. He was fifteen. It was fine. It uh, wasn't easy, but we survived, and and now we're back. It's wonderful to see you safe and well, Lady Hannah. <laughs> sniffle, sniffle, sniffle. Do you think you will stay here in Eastpool? Rosaleth still enjoys the Mother Crystal's blessing. Does it not? You could always move. This house holds a lot of memories for me. So long as I can live here in peace, here I shall stay. It must be such a pain to pack up and move anyway. The capital is closed to civilians, by order of the Duchess. Well, fuck her! Or should I say, her Imperial Majesty. Oh? Annabella's marriage to the Emperor of Sambrek. Heralded a great many changes here. Oh, what a whore. Yes. 
Of course. Oh, forgive me. I, I didn't mean to. Uh... No, please speak. Please. Talk. Speak ill of her. Talk me. shit. Would my mother not make? For she is. Your husband. Shit. Surely she would not refuse the Lord Commander. He's dead, bro. You haven't heard, then. He was incinerated by your butthole. Rodney passed away on the night of the fire. He never returned from Phoenix Gate. I... I'm sorry. Clive, I... are you gonna cry? Are you gonna cry too, Clive? It's okay. It's okay. My poor child. You look pale. All this traveling must have taken its toll. I insist you rest. We can talk later. That's that's not what's wrong with him, ma'am. Oh god, she don't know either. Someone needs to give this poor man a hug. Are you sure you don't want to sleep inside? I can't. Not after what I did. Clive, you didn't do anything! Lady Hannah said she would prepare a change of clothes for you in the morning. She, she has really clothes has for him? Very kind. <laughs> Damn, look at those titties! Okay, I need to seats with the jokes. We're about to enter some serious shit right now. Without the faintest glimmer of hope. Ooh. It was only Joshua that kept me going. I swore that I would avenge his death. That I would kill his killer. That was the only thing that gave my life any meaning. The animated the tongue. It was me who killed Joshua and Murdoch and all the others. Clive, it's okay. It wasn't why really... the hell am I still breathing? Clive. I ask myself the same. Joe! When I fought, hundreds died. Oh, she's talking about herself. So many bodies. So many lives cut short in their prime. That day in Dalmechia, I... I wanted to join them. I wanted it all to end. I couldn't bear it anymore. If living meant being that, better to be just another body. You two just need to hug it out. Do you remember that night on the balcony? When we looked up at the moon? I said a prayer to Metia and that prayer was answered. Clive, you cannot be thirsting over the little girl version. You have to thirst over this one. You came back do it. Me. Kiss her. Go for it. The Everyone mood's right. Just do it. Have a plan for us. Go on. Kiss, 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 kiss. God damn it. We should get some rest. Right. I have a feeling we're going to be screaming at these two to just make out already. Good night, Clive. Sleep well. <gasps> Puppy! Thank you, Lady Anna. Oh my god, my clothes! 
You look just like Elwyn did when he was your age. How did you come to have some of my father's old clothes? She has your debt. Oh, before Elwyn became Archduke, our families would often summer together. He and Rodney were like brothers. These clothes have been in a wardrobe for years, collecting cobwebs along with everything else. And now he wears his daddy's clothes. Well, I'm very grateful for them. And sorry for depriving you of your memories. Not at all. It's what your father would have wanted. To give him his old clothes? That's a little weird. They suit you well. Surprised they fit. <laughs> Clive is rather big. Thank you, Lady Hannah. Yes, thank you. You've been most kind. No, I should thank you. It may only have been for a short while. But seeing you again took me back to happier times. Fare you well. My lord and lady. And you, Lady Hannah. Hug them. Hug. God damn it, Clive. He was all willing to hug Gav, but not her. Character appearance. You can now change the outward appearance of Clive and his allies. Access the, the highways. I can finally glamour! You can finally do glamours. It should take us all the way to Phoenix Gate. Let's go. And we will go in the next part. <laughs> we will go in the next part. I'm like, alright. Y'all know the drill. Hit the subscribe button. Helps me out a lot. It's free for you to do. Builds up that subscriber count for me that I need so I can start getting paid. Hit the like button. It helps with the algorithm, I think. I don't really know. There's a bell icon. You can press that too. It tells you when I upload. Let's see if it works. Someone tell me if it does. In fact, that'll be that com that'll be the comment today for today. Leave a comment. Tell me, does the bell work? <laughs> Alright guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!